matter of someone going, are we going to talk about 59 or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Who's going to say it? Am I going to say it? Or is he going to say it? Or we go through and think about it and not say anything and then go, I wish I said to him on the 17th tee, mate, we can shoot 59 here. Should we go for it or should we not go for it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, your attitude is completely different. You can stand there and go, just be oh, mate, no, 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 let's hit it in the left rough and hack it up there and try and get in at 60. Mm -hmm. Or should we go, no, nah, come on, let's have it. Why mm -hmm. not? Let's, if, we, if we shoot 63 and we've gone, let's, we've, we went for it. Did it, grow, did it gradually build or was it suddenly? Um, I think when I, when I birdied 12, now when, when, I, when I knew I was on the green in two on 12 and I need, and it had an eagle putt to get to 11 under par, you know, I knew then I was really in for a good shout of it. And, you know, it was, it was more of a, what if I don't do this now kind of thing. You know what I mean? It wasn't, because the course is set up from then on in to, to do it, no problem. You know, I had to, as long as I played okay, mm. I, was, I was always going to do it. Because there's and plenty that, of players that have been in that situation and haven't managed to do it. Yeah, but I was telling the path through 12 yeah. with some good, good mm. opportunities ahead of me. Whereas I think a lot of players have been with a couple of tough holes left. Yeah. And they're lying there going, well, you know, they're good pars to make. Don't get me wrong, 18's yeah. a tough hole, but I didn't have to birdie it. Mm -hmm. I had to make a par. Yeah. Um, you know, and the, and the old thing, if you need a par, try and make a birdie. Like, I, you know, I tried to hit that wedge shot as close as I could, pulled it, was right in between clubs, but then hit a great putt down the hill in the end. So yeah. it was uh, it was different, really, really different round. And, uh, and What was it like standing over that putt line? Have you seen that, the first one? Well, that literally like, all I've got to do is not go mad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so like, looking back now, I, like, I can really remember walking up to the green. I didn't, you know, the lads all said they was off from the range. I was looking on the edge of the, mm. edge of the water there to the left. I didn't see anyone, you know, I was, and then I, I walked onto the green and I was like, well, I should be taking my cap off here because everyone's here for me. Everyone's here watching mm. me because they think I'm going to shoot 59. And I was like, oh, thank you. I sort of had a bit, bit of a, <laughs> when you look back at the camera, I was like, I didn't really say thank you to him because I, mean, I was thinking, yeah. I didn't really know. I didn't really notice what I was doing, mm. and um, yeah, walking on the green, it was just like any other putt. You know, the only thing was, I was obviously shaking a lot and just really wanted to dead weight it down there. Um, I was just trying to drop it in the top right lip, and you know, missed it a little low, but it caught the edge of the hole and finished the foot pass, which from forty foot or thirty five foot, yeah. it was, um, you know, I couldn't have. It was great it finished that fight. If I had a three footer or four footer, you know, I, which I had on seventeen. Hold a good part on 16, hold a good part on 15, and again on 14, 13, the same. I hold some really nice short little putts around in and struggle for my pace. But to knock that down to a foot was just, you know, really, really, um, you know, it was just so nice to have a little tap in. Yeah, and when, 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 you, when you put the little putt in, what, how, how did you feel? Was it just like, was that relief or was that like oh, elate, elation or? Yeah, I felt. It's weird, I mean, I... Because you, you're actually top of the leaderboard at that point. Yeah, right? yeah, I know. I went from going out on yeah. a Sunday, you know, and it just shows you all these years on tour, you know, watching Rory or Tiger or guys shoot eight or nine on the par on a Saturday or one of the rounds to move themselves right into, con into contention. You know, it, it just shows you that, like, anyone can do it. And, you know, as long as you go and put, you know, Plot your way around the course, make the right decisions, keep sort of tiptoeing along. You don't. I didn't do anything amazing on that day. I know I shot 59, but it wasn't like I ripped every drive down the middle of the fairway. I didn't stand there and hit every shot to five foot. You know, I hold some nice putts. There was good some some real key momentum sort of shots. Um, I birdied holes that you felt were good opportunities where the pins were, and you know I didn't do anything daft and. And uh, the, the most satisfying thing for me looking back is just the way I handled myself coming off the 16th green, chatting to my caddy, saying to him, listen, guy, like, we're here now. Like, let's enjoy it. Like, let's not go out and just steer it for the last couple. Like, and for me to say that to him, I'm not the most outward kind of guy. I'm a bit introvert and a bit quiet at times. I can be on the golf course because I enjoy playing golf and I enjoy playing golf on my own. You know what I mean? I enjoy that side of golf more than, uh, so than what, other sports can and I think that's a really really you know one of the really good positives about golf is that anyone go out and play on their own whenever they want and go and have a nice time and get away from their life and get away from whatever it is they want to do and think about something clearly just by swinging their arms in the field and listening to the birds or whatever it may be.